we're into week three of the college football season. And again, week two brought some extraordinary games, uh, not only in the ACC and the SEC, but nationwide. We saw Oregon upset Ohio State, uh, Iowa got the job done at Iowa State, and certainly within the SEC, uh, Arkansas's win over Texas, I think, sent a few shockwaves throughout college football and the job Sam Pittman's done there at Arkansas in a very short amount of time is phenomenal and uh, now a lot of people will be looking at Arkansas a lot differently than they were before the season started. But it's on to week three and we've got some tremendous matchups again this Saturday. Uh, leading the way in the, in the SEC is going to be uh, Alabama at Florida at 3.30. You also have FSU traveling to Wake Forest. You've got South Carolina at Georgia, and you've got Virginia traveling to North Carolina. So those are the only four games that involve the SEC and the ACC head on. Other big games featuring ranked SEC and ACC teams, we have New Mexico at Texas A&M, Georgia Southern at Arkansas, Auburn at Penn State, which would be a huge game for the SEC. Uh, very rarely is, our, is Auburn ventured into the Big Ten, but that'll be a game everybody's really paying attention to. Tulane, who had a great showing against Oklahoma, travels to Ole Miss. Uh, and in the ACC, Virginia Tech goes to West Virginia. Michigan State travels to Coral Gables to play Miami. Purdue at Notre Dame and Georgia Tech at Clemson. So phenomenal games this weekend that will really be watched uh, especially by us as again our relationship is with the ACC and the SEC as far as for our game which is December 31st at 11 a.m. on ESPN. Also we'd like to congratulate our Pick'em winners for the second week in a row Scott Stedman knocked them dead and was the winner from a committee standpoint and the public winner was Andrew Wilder. So, Scott, maybe three weeks in a row, I'm going to start hanging around you playing the lottery, okay? And also, about the extra yard for teachers, the College Football Playoff Foundation initiative that really kind of kicked into high gear last year is now being accepted by all bowls in the bowl system. All 44 bowls are going to really be stressing this. Uh, we're going to start a new initiative to have an a MVT, a Most Valuable Teacher, to where we'll, we'll award $1,000 to a Duval County teacher uh, in honor of their efforts that they've done to make our community better. So pay attention to this. You'll see links that will lead us into more information on this program. But again, uh, it's a way to honor the tremendous job that our teachers do, not only in Duval County, but throughout the country. In closing, for any questions or any topics of suggestion for future shows, just let us know at hashtag AskGreg. You can tweet or you can email us or just give us a call. Uh, we always want to be responsive to our membership and those that are watching these videos to be able to help answer any questions you may have. So feel free to do so. Have a great day.